Hello reformers and welcome back to Viking Conquest. Now when we left off we had just finished the quest with Morrigan and with Maio Brazil of course and now we are back at the Free People's Fortress. As, as you can see, it has been updated, it upgraded to 250 limit in the garrison, which is fantastic. And so, what we're going to do now is going to speak to our captain here, and apparently I can't upgrade it any further. Interesting. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to get some people here. So, he's already working here, but it doesn't seem like anything's really happening. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so I'm going to get, there we are. Yes, going to get a, a, a blacksmith, and then we're also going to get an armorer. His nickname comes from his voracious appetite for iron, manufacturing all kinds of things. That can't be very tasty. And what else are we going to go for here? Hmm. Okay. Aurelius Morgan Alexander, a highly trained barber who patches light and heavy wounds. <laughs> a highly okay, patches light wounds. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so in other words, Alexander is the only one that we can really take, and we're going to be taking this fellow who will make feasts for us. Okay, so everyone has been recruited now. That's 1,500 taking away from us, which is absolutely fine, no problem at all. And, well, we can place some people in the garrison here, which I think I'm actually going to do. Unfortunately, as you can see, your captain suggests not to keep lords here. I was hoping that we might be able to, you know, increase the efficiency of our prison so that we might actually be able to take lords and put them into the garrison here. But apparently that's not, that's not the case, which is kind of strange to me. I would have expected, you know, the upgrade to have made a bit of a difference, but apparently not. All right, so let's go in here. And there's, oh, Priest Beta? Okay, we... we <laughs> Wait a minute. We already have someone called Beta in our army, and this fellow is called Priest Beta. So I, now I'm confused because I thought that the journal that we saw, you know, that was detailing the events of our interaction with Morrigan, I thought that that was our Beta, you know, the guy that was, you know, in our, in our party. But apparently it's that guy. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so let's... Let's do this. We're going to be preparing a feast, and I have no need for his services. Okay, so that's good. Yes, order your men to leave their weapons outside and invite them to your great hall to sit at your table by rank. The nearest and dearest sit closest to you. Some girls serve meat and mead in large quantities. You've spent a small fortune on this feast because your men deserve it. They are the ones who bleed with you, who have helped you conquer your domains. Actually, they actually haven't helped me to do very much because this is this is the free people's fortress at the moment at the very least anyway so you stay sober taste the drink but no more than necessary yep there we go the party gains five morale and that's it apparently okay well anyway what we're gonna do i did say that i was actually gonna do the old roman fort but i kind of felt like checking out what my free people's fortress was doing and apparently now it's been fully updated so there is no need for me to upgrade it any further. So that means I don't need any more tools or timber or anything like that. So now I can just trade relatively freely. And so we're going to be doing that. I'm not going to show too much of it, obviously. But yeah, just enough to demonstrate what's currently going on. And obviously we're going to be getting quite a lot of money from that. But I'd love to go to the old Roman fort maybe after that. Or maybe we could try and see what's going on elsewhere. I'd like to... Oh, yes, a ransom broker. Thank you. That's exactly what I was about to say. I'd like to find a ransom broker. There we go. 1600 That's basically the amount that we paid for all of our extra staff. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so let's travel to the other port. And, oh, yeah. We might actually want to check out the bridge nearby to, is it Reba or Dorstadt? I'm actually unsure what it is, but I, I guess we'll find out once we cross the small little water place here. All right, so as you can see, we have arrived in Dorstadt and I'm going to be selling my wool. And unfortunately, it appears as though the merchant is, well, 
kind of not having a lot of money, so this is going to be pretty uncomfortable. And I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. Well, there you go. <laughs> Literally, we're going to leave him with one penny. Yes, one penny. Okay, well, I guess I should sell the rest of my stuff just to make sure that we have enough space, really. Because once we have enough space, I will then be able to you know, buy some more of that wine and the jewelry and things like that so that we can take that over to Reba as well. But it might just be a case of me having to wait here at some point, maybe a little bit more off screen, just so that this merchant and his marketplace can replenish itself relatively well. So that's what we're going to do. There you go. That's it. And now I have a bunch of space. So hopefully I'll be able to buy this wine and I can buy this jewelry. And I could also buy the mead and the salt as well. But I, I don't really have that much space. I mean, I guess I could, but it's not really doesn't really make much sense for me to do that, does it? So let's have a look. Buying salt here and selling it at Cardiff. I I don't really I don't really need to, in my opinion. I mean, I have quite a lot of money as it is. So let's just go to Reba. And after this, I'm not entirely sure what to do because we have acquired most of the unique events. We've basically done all of the unique events. Oh, look at that. The Kingdom of Cornubia is no more. I'm actually kind of surprised that they got eliminated that soon. But maybe I shouldn't be so surprised because they are actually not very large. They are a pretty small faction to begin with, and they do tend to get picked on pretty quickly, so maybe that's the reason. Anyway, let's continue to sell this wine here. Wow, look at that. Oh, yes. Give me that. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, so mm, I think that's actually it. I think that's all I'm going to take. I'm just going to buy some bread and fruit and vegetables just to get us below the threshold there. Wow, the horse merchant has absolutely nothing for me to actually sell him you know and uh yeah that's it okay is there anything else nope jewelry yep jewelry there we go yes that's what we like and the last piece of jewelry can go there okay is there anything else that i want to really do here i mean yes increases morale during battle not really necessary the shield is also not particularly necessary either i mean i have some pretty decent throwing spears i might be able to use them to good effect. I mean, what I'd like to do is actually try and fight the ogre or troll or, or whatever it may be. There's the troll's bridge over there, so I guess I'll see you when we arrive. I'm a bit worried about being pounced by bandits. Alright, so just as I was talking about bandits, yes, some masterless men have decided to attack us. Now, we have a battle advantage of minus three, but I don't know whether that's really going to make too much difference because... Uh, it, it seems, I don't know, it seems to be one of those times, you know? It seems to be one of those times when I think we might just have dialed our number. You know, they have dialed our number, basically. So, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen here, but I have my two-handed bastard sword at the ready. And this fellow is going to get cut down. Oh, yeah, I was, I, I was really hoping that I'd be able to cut him down, but apparently he's, uh, you know, he's being a bit, uh, being a bit cautious, isn't he? Yes, actually quite cautious. Well, this is interesting. Come on, you can do this, Asbjorn. Shoot him! Ah, yes, he doesn't have very good throwing skills, does he? Okay, this guy is going to go down. Oh, yeah, there we go. Come on. Ah, uh, I thought that maybe I would be able to take him off his horse at least. Oh, these guys don't actually have very good gear at all. Look at this. They're mostly peasants and sailors and things. Well, this is going to be interesting. Okay, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go, but I guess I'm just going to try my best. Let's kill that priest, because, oh, we have to. Yes. Come on, kill him. Kill that one over there as well. Yes. They're all sailors. This is kind of amusing. Uh, and now I'm tired. Well, that's not very good. I'm going to get out my shield. Am I still tired by blocking? Maybe? Yeah, it seems like it. Okay. Okay, well, I'm not exhausted at least, so I can do a little bit of damage. Slaver Chief, how dare you? How dare you do such a thing? Well, they are, he is a Slaver Chief, I suppose, so it's, it's to be expected. Come on! Ah! Okay, what about what about a little bit of javelin action? I'm sure he wants something. He wants it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, a headshot, no less. A headshot, very nice. Okay, so there you go, we did it. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised that none of our companions were eliminated right there, with the exception of Scooby, which I have to say I'm a bit disappointed by, because, well, who wants to see Scooby get taken out? No one. 
Apart from the ghosts, obviously. But anyway, let's try and see if we can... Oh, I don't want to hire anyone because it's going to take us a long time to... Well, not a long time, but it's probably going to cost us quite a bit to get back if we decide to recruit a bunch of people. Ah, look at that. We have advanced in level. And speaking of advancing in level, Kayo has also advanced in the previous episode, so it would be a good idea for us to spec him into something here. So he's, in general, pretty good already. There's not really any necessity for me to level up any more of his agility skills, in my opinion, because he already has eight. And I think these things max out at ten, unless they've changed that in Viking Conquest. I don't know. But maybe Engineer? Yeah, let's get him one more point in Engineering and another point in Power Strike. Just make sure that he's as good as possible at what he does. And he is technically our only engineer at the moment. I mean, Agathonos obviously is the other one, but I think Kaio and him have a bit of a problem with each other, so obviously that doesn't really help us, does it? So what about some power strike for Asbjorn here? Because he already has maximum skills in wound treatment, surgery, first aid, etc. So it's not really... Yeah, it's not really necessary, I suppose. So let's just go for Power Strike, make sure that he's doing the most damage possible. I mean, there's nothing much else that I really need from him, because we already have, well, everything else from everyone else. You know, I mean, apart from Sea King. Where, where, where is Sea King? Are we not doing that? Yes, we're doing that. Look at that, Sea King. Oh, we have six? What? We have six skill points to spend? Well, that's crazy. Okay. That's pretty good. Yes, every point increases the number of ships you can command. Oh, it's a leader skill. Oh, okay. So that's the reason why I couldn't see it on the party screen. Okay, good to know. And we have navigation already. And we have some riding skill, of course. And our tactics is taken care of by... I think it is Helgi, perhaps? I think he takes care of it quite a bit. And we already have six persuasion, six leadership, and six trade. So I guess the only other thing that I could do is trainer skill. Let's get five in that. And I could get a little bit more riding skill, more more athletics, but again, athletics is not necessarily the most useful. And I guess I could go for some more navigation and some more seeking, because I'm going to get a ship. I'm going to get a ship. I'm actually really close to getting a ship, so don't worry about that. I had plans to get a ship, but obviously I need to get some businesses first, make sure that we are doing okay in terms of our income and then we'll, we'll obviously go from there all right so let's go to the trolls bridge all right so we are now here not far away there is a bridge over a stream the stream itself is unnamed but the bridge is widely known as the trolls bridge move towards the bridge let's do it all right so i am a bit injured still i did try to rest a little bit <laughs> so that's uh that's not really good is it oh if you want to cross the bridge, you have to pay the toll, or troll, in this case. Yes, oh, this is going to be amusing. Okay, so am I going to be attacked from anywhere else? No, it seems like this is the only fellow. And he is he going to... Uh, yeah, he's going to attack me, isn't he? I'm pretty sure. I'm, I've got my javelins at the ready. You never know. Maybe I should not use my javelins. It's probably a bad idea. A huge creature is looking down on you, seemingly unintimidated by your presence or your equipment. Ho oh, ho ho! Who's that tripping over my bridge? This troll wants some gold because you are on his bridge. Okay. <laughs> You're just a big ugly fool, not a troll. Ho oh, ho ho! When I was little, my mother said to me, Grendel, my son, if someone calls you big ugly or a fool, ignore him, but if someone calls you all three together, hit him. Oh. The troll is dead at your feet, so you can keep the treasure extorted from travelers as well as his club. Uh What? Oh, okay. And we got the Troll's Axe. Which is absolutely fantastic. It's, an, it's a fantastic weapon, but obviously I can't use it right now, because... Reasons, you know, we're not very strong. <laughs> Strength 21. Wow. Strength 21? How much... I have 13? How are you supposed to get strength 21? I, I guess you just have to select all of the strength-related character creation skills and options, I suppose. Anyway, there you go. Okay, we did that. That was much easier than expected and actually kind of weird. I was not expecting that to happen. Okay, so let's have a look. What's going on here? Uh, they have some elite spearmen. 
but otherwise nothing really to write home about but bear in mind that we are very very small in number so I don't know whether we'll be able to deal with them how fast are we moving we're moving much faster than them so take that thank you oh what's this your studies in poetry and rhetoric have been productive. This newly acquired skill in oratory will increase your leadership in battle as you urge on your men in combat. Use the T key to evoke a war cry. Okay. I don't know how I've gotten that. Everything seems to be a bit weird in this episode because we go into the troll's bridge expecting a bit of a fight. And then the troll is just like, oh no, don't worry about it. And then it's just, yes. <laughs> Very strange. Okay. Visit uh, visit the Hof. What is this? This place? Uh, oh, it's a it's a monastery of some sort. Is that true? I I don't really want to annoy the people in Reba. This is the home of the Nordic gods. You can recite old verses, compose songs, or make sacrifices to please the gods. If you're lucky, the gods may hear you. All right. Well, it doesn't seem like I'm gonna actually be doing anything here, because there are actually a couple of berserkers in the area too, and we know how. Well ferocious they can be so we probably don't want to convert or pillage so I, I guess I'm just gonna leave it alone I actually wanted to find where's that cave is the cave here no the cave isn't in Dorstadt either where is that cave Odin's cave that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about Odin's cave where is that is it up here no it must be up here then Yes, there we are, Odin's Hof. But where? Oh no, there we go, Odin's Cave. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna make my way over to Tunsberg, and we're going to. Oh yeah, you you mark my words. We're gonna attack those those brigands and all those terrible people in in Odin's Cave for giving me such a hard time all those days ago in the original Viking Conquest, and hopefully I'll be able to avoid these masterless men too. Ah, oh, what do we have here? We have a bunch of bandits wanting to attack us. I actually don't know what they are consisting of. I don't know whether they have some really, really powerful units or whether they're just blowing smoke, shall we say. So let's just let's just take a quick look at them. Obviously, <laughs> here's the thing. I can't actually fight on my horse anymore unless I were to change my weapon because at the moment my two-handed sword well my technically my one-handed slash two-handed sword is a weapon that you cannot use on a mount so that's it's not very good is it no it's not very good so unfortunately even though it is a fantastic weapon and i am enjoying using it oh these guys are not very good at all i could probably take these guys by myself and now watch me die watch me die against these guys now but do you see how much damage i'm able to do yes Take this. I don't mind taking too much damage. Yes, you are. You, you're. You're not. You're no match for Borga. You are no match. Kind of. Oh. Oh. They damaged my armor. Are you serious? They've damaged my armor. I am. I am insulted. I am very insulted. Oh well. Never mind. <laughs> Can't really do much about that. And I've killed all of them at least. Ah, okay, so it seems like I'm going to have to go to a blacksmith, and it's just good that we've just recruited one, right? Didn't we recruit one back in our in the Free People's Fortress? I've actually never done any kind of upgrading before, with the exception of Nova Eatus. That is the only one where I have ever interacted with a crafter in some way to upgrade, or in other words, craft my own stuff. So it's pretty cool that they give you that option at least so yeah now you may see my inventory has changed a little bit yeah I decided to sell most of our foodstuffs because I just have so much food anyway that there's really no need for me to hold on to it with such a small party that I have right now and instead I've taken a huge amount of tar that I can sell at Cardiff hilariously enough for a pretty decent amount and I've also taken furs, and furs can also be sold at Cardiff for a lot. 